Hi again, everyone. All right, before I get started on this painting today, I wanted to show you all this work in progress. <laughs> you can see it's definitely a mess. So those of you who do wire wrapping, um, you can tell I'm not very good at it, but this is just another idea for something that you can do with uh, your alcohol ink paintings. Uh, this was is not easy for me. It kills my fingers, the arthritis in my hands, but uh, it's taken me a while, and this is not, definitely not the best that I can do. I was kind of, I don't know, trying to get it done a little too quickly so I could quit, you know, do some so I can quit. And Anyway, um, but this is just an idea uh, of something else you can do, a way to use a simple alcohol ink painting as a background. And then, you know, you can try and do your sort of wire wrapping or whatever you want to do over top of it. Some of the, the alcohol ink paintings make just gorgeous, gorgeous backgrounds for things. All right, let's see. I am going to use today, yep, if I can stop knocking stuff over and pick up what I want. This is my undiluted pinata brass my 99% isopropyl alcohol. These needle nose bottles, I'm having some people asking about them again. They are in my Amazon storefront. The links are in the description box down below. Uh, this is my Revlon brand styling brush hair dryer with the brush attachment removed. Uh, you know, you may not be able to find this one. It has been out of stock a lot. So, uh, this one is 500 watts and it has a cool setting and the cool setting is what I use almost exclusively. I rarely use anything but the cool setting. So if you're going to look for something, you can't find this particular one, you want to look for low wattage and a cool setting and a removable brush. Now you do have to watch that because some of them, you can't remove the brush head off of it. So you don't want to get one that's and I've got a hairbrush attached to it that you can't take off. Uh, colors. This is what I set out. I don't know yet if I'm going to use all of them. I just can't decide what I want to use today. So anyway, I have got Jacquard Pinata Sapphire Blue and Rainforest Green. Uh, Tim Holtz Rangers Stream Indigo and Cobalt. So I'm probably going to use at least most of them. The indigo is the only one that I'm sort of can't decide about the indigo. So we'll just sort of see what happens. I don't know what I'm going to do. Other than I really want to do a painting that I can use some more of the solar color dust on. So I want to go with some dark colors and I figured these blues and greens would be uh, would be good ones to use. The indigo is just a, a touch purple, but not tremendously. So, I thought, you know, might be a good one to use. What do I want to do? All right. Let's do... I'm trying to see what to start with here. Let's start with the greens. Yeah, let's start with the greens. I'm thinking about sort of just doing one of those that's just sort of, I don't know, here and there, leaving some uh, negative space in here. Although, in a way, I feel like I've done too many of those lately, but let's see. We'll see, we'll see. There was... I, it just struck me that I'm missing a, somewhere I've got another pinata color that would look really good with this. And I don't know what I've done with it. I'm sorry, I know y'all hate it when I do this. And what, I have no clue, it's not in my, it's not in my little ink tins. And I don't know where it is. <clears throat> So, all right, so here we go, finally, getting started. 
Um, I've also been asked if I would do um, some slow motion showing moving the inks around, and I will do that. I'm not going to do a whole slow motion video, so, you know, don't panic, <laughs> because I know mine are too long as it is, but uh, I will do a section in one very soon that is slow motion. Just, there have been some people, you know, that are just having trouble figuring out exactly how I'm moving the hair dryer. And so I will do I will do a a video that has a section in it that's slow motion for you all real soon. And that is a gorgeous color by itself. That honestly might be the first color or the first time I've ever used Rainforest Green just by itself without mixing it with some other color. That's very pretty green. Do a little more of it. Or a lot more. A lot more of it. You notice I am putting a little bit more brass in here than I do sometimes. Uh, it, it shows up so good on these darker colors that I am using a little more of it than I normally would. See, I'm not being real overly concerned about little fingers like that right now because uh, I'll be doing a lot of reworking in there, adding more color to it. And I'm using a, a, quite a bit of ink because I do want to keep it dark. Oop, that was a little more brass than I meant to use. I forgot to mention at the beginning too, this is uh, Legion brand Yupo. So uh, it will stain and I'll have to be a little cautious about that, but I did want to use the Yupo partly for its staining properties because down in here that way, if I do get a little thin in places as I'm working the ink, I had to pick that. Um, it will still give me some color coverage underneath there. Plus, as the ink starts to get thinner here and there, it, um, it just gives you this kind of depth, you know, a little extra color that you didn't even put in your painting. Let's see.
Just trying to decide how far up to go on each side with these. Um, now, I have had a couple of people lately ask if I do private lessons. I uh, cannot, I'm not set up in any way that I can do um, like virtual private lessons. And right now it's just not possible for me to schedule particular times very easily anyway. So um, I'm, I'm really sorry, but that right at the moment is just not something that I can do. Uh, that's, you know, watch the videos. <laughs> They're pretty much the same thing as virtual lessons. I try to explain things well enough that you all, you know, can keep a really good idea of what's going on. All right. What was that? That was the Rainforest Green from Pinata. This is the stream from Ranger. Going to do a little blending that in. I'm hoping I don't regret this because it's not quite as green as what I wanted, but it is pretty green, so more of a teal color. Oh, that's pretty. Keeping it getting dark right there. Looks good together. Yeah, that looks very nice together. I was afraid it wasn't going to blend well if this was too blue. I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but I'm very happy with that. Once again, putting down a lot more ink than I usually would because I do want to keep this dark. I haven't gotten to play with my my liquid crystal in a while, so I keep wanting to do something with it. making a mess. I splattered ink with the dryer when I turned it on. I have, and if you do that, you have your dryer up too high and too close to your ink and alcohol. That is exactly what I did. If you are new to my channel and have not yet watched the, um, let's see, videos number 19 and 50, those are some frequently asked question videos. They're some of the most uh, common problems that people have when they're starting out, well, not just when you're starting out, but most common problems that people have, period, with alcohol in it. And kind of trying to give you an idea of ways you can prevent some of those problems. Um, also showing how to use something like this for your air source, because this is a rather unconventional air source. To use in art so uh, 
and with something as liquid as the alcohol and the inks, it will give you a little bit of a an idea of how I use mine. Oh, oh, good heavens. Oh, well, I'll be doing more over there. <laughs> the more I try to fix it, the more I mess it up. Uh, oh, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Um, <clears throat> oh, the, yeah, the dryer. Like, how to keep from getting the little fingers of ink. Uh, you know, where, how I hold it. A little bit about control. Uh, along with a few other things, uh, some other questions that I get asked quite a bit. Um, always a good thing to go check those out if you haven't already, because hopefully you'll get some really good tips off of those. And the colors in this so much, I'm not sure I'm going to want to put any of the liquid crystal on it or not. Went back to the rainforest green just a minute because I want to darken up this corner. Which we get even darker than I wanted. Got a lot on there. Ooh. Yep. Getting away from me. Part of my problem right here is just keeps lifting up so when the air hits it, it's just at the right angle to splatter it right off the paper. Or further on to the paper as the case may be. Hmm. Now see, I've got this line right here between the, the um, rainforest green and the stream, and I don't want to keep that line there. But I am going to put a little more stream up through here, so I'll try to blend that out as I'm putting the stream in, which is what I am going back to right now. bottle in the mm. all right time to switch colors again I don't want to go with anything that's purplish. I've got, I've got colors missing is what I've got. I can't figure out where I've put them. I mean, how do you lose inks when you've got tins that you keep them in? I'll tell you how. You have 10 and 11 year old granddaughters that carry your stuff off. They know to stay out of my inks, but somehow or other, that just doesn't really seem to work. It's a great theory, but it never works in practice. All right, hang on. I got to look for some ink a second. Okay, now, this is the Tim Holtz Ranger Turquoise. 
going to try it next. Okay. I had to, oops, I don't know what I'm doing here. I had to do some ink testing too. Oh, while well, I was off camera there, just, I've got a, a few that I don't have color swatches for. And so I had to kind of swatch them real quick to get some idea of the shade of them. The turquoise is really almost the same color as the stream, honestly. It's just a little bit lighter, uh, uh, as, mm, more translucent. I'm not sure exactly how to put that. You know, it's just a lighter shade, but it's almost the exact same shade. That makes no sense, does it? Try not to put too much alcohol in there to try and keep it a little darker and that's not where I wanted that to go. Got a little somewhat frustrated while I was trying to find ink colors that I knew I had around somewhere. Okay, so we'll just make sure that gets covered up with something. Well, my question is what? I'm actually going to use a dot of Rainforest Green right there, which may seem an odd choice, but let's see how it works. Sometimes the odd choices work the best. So I'm going to put a little more stream out here, too. Um, I hadn't wanted to carry this all the way to that corner, but it may end up going that way, the way it's looking. I'm debating on whether to switch and skip the turquoise. Okay, just a little turquoise over here. 
Yeah, just a little, see? <laughs> All right, so I had set Glacier out, and now here I am changing my mind again. I'm gonna grab some Pool, which is basically just a lighter version of Turquoise, as you can see from the bottles. It's just barely a touch lighter than the Turquoise. The first, See, I want more dark in here is my only thing. So I think I'm gonna do a little more stream down in here somewhere. And then I'll wisp it up, but I do want to have enough dark color. I don't know, I just, I'm loving the richness of this right now. So actually, I'm gonna put another drop of Rainforest Green down here even though I'd already started lightening that because it will blend and I think it'll look really good. We can hope. Let's go back Oops, to the stream. So you, I hope, can kind of see how the stream and the rainforest green are blending there. And I actually think that that looks really good. So I'm, I'm happy that I went ahead and put that in there. Just give it a little extra shading. with the pool and start uh, whisping it out some. We've got way too many bottles of ink sitting around here.
Not knock my alcohol over on the painting. That would have made me very unhappy. It is so crazy windy. I know you all probably can't hear it, but it keeps the winds blowing so hard right now. It's actually blowing back into my vent fans and like revving up the motor on the vent fans, spinning the blades faster. And that is why you want to wipe off your lid, which I actually mentioned not long ago on another video, ding back me, because they run down and then when you shake it up with your finger over it, you get spots of brass going everywhere. trying to do here is just make this edge really soft although I've kind of lost all of my brass in here um, it just all seems to be blowing back that way but that's okay now that is a little harder to do on you Poe, because as you could probably see it was staining even just the very light colors were staining so it does get a little, a little bit hard to do on the repo. It's not impossible, but it is a little harder. Picked up the wrong bottle for a second. So make sure that you're keeping alcohol out here so that you can, you know, keep it from making that hard edge like this because that 
Now I'm gonna have to try to fix this and it's gonna leave a darker area of stain right there most likely. So I get the fun of trying to get rid of that. And you probably hear me, I'm flicking this over to heat for just a minute here and there because I want it to dry quickly and not have to keep working it so that I don't get so much blend. I've got way too much uh, metallic blended in with the ink right here and it's left these chunky lines that really irk me, these dark lines. So, I gotta decide what I wanna do about that. All right, I'm just going to keep coming around for a minute because that, I, I'll i have to fix that. That'll drive me insane if I don't. Then I'm just going to keep on coming around through here for just a minute. Did y'all hear that? Vent did it again. You all see me tap that like that. It's usually just because there's a tiny drip hanging and I don't want it to drip on the painting. So I'll just go ahead and tap it off just to make sure it doesn't drip somewhere I don't want it to that I can't control good. I gotta, I gotta slow down. This is exactly what the problem is here, is I'm hurrying, and it's uh, causing me a problem. You see, now I'm switching over to heat, because I want to get this dried pretty quickly now. I don't want to have to keep blending too much and lose all of my color shading down there. That is annoying me. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm feeling this like, oh, I have to hurry and get this done because I've got all afternoon to work on it for a change. Oh well. Let's just keep going like usual. Whoop, wrong bottle. Get rid of some of it.
Now, the reason that I'm not as worried about using the heat on this one, and I'd forgotten to mention this at the beginning, is this is the heavyweight Yupo. It comes in the purple package like this, the purple pad. Uh, the reason I had done it on the heavyweight was not because of the dryer, but it's because I wanted to use the, the color change ink, the um, liquid crystal ink. And so I wanted to have it on something that, you know, so you could heat up that ink to watch the colors change and not have to worry about damaging your painting. This one is making me think of an ice cave. Something like that, being down in a crevasse.
You can tell I switched over the heat for just a little too long right there. Started warping on the edge just a little. All right, now, I gotta do something about that because that is just really bothering me. So let's just go back over it again, which sometimes is a good thing. You can fix it like that. Sometimes it's a bad thing because you're at, you're just gonna get more buildup in there. So we'll see which one it turns out to be. Okay. Good heavens. Such a klutz. Okay. This is actually a few days after I initially did this painting. Uh, after I had gotten done with the painting, I actually had the video all put together. I <laughs> was ready to put it on YouTube. And the more I looked at this, the more I decided it's not finished. I, I needed to do something else to it. So this is, yeah, part two of a <laughs> one part video. I don't know what to call it. Okay, what's bothering me is this. I feel like this needs to be closed in. Not way down here. I do want that, you know, open space. But the more I looked at this, the more I just felt like this is not finished. So, I am going to use a little bit of aqua. And all I want to do is just make some, you know, very pastel wisps in here to just kind of close this off a little <clears throat> so that it's like you're looking, I don't know, I, I want to say looking out through, you know, an ice cave or something like that. So, because I just, that's what kept occurring to me while I was working on this was sort of an ice cave. So, um, that's the plan and we'll see if it works. And I'm sorry for adding time to this video, although I did, or I will, when I go back to add this, it, I will be cutting off part of the other one where I had sort of wrapped up um, the color, this color is pool that I had finished with before, and since I wanted this lighter, I am going to go with the aqua <clears throat> out here. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, I'm a little bit hoarse. I think I've mentioned it's allergy season for me, <clears throat> which, uh, 
just really kind of stinks. Terrible time with allergies. So now I'm just trying to let that kind of move around so that I meet up with the other in there. And then I'm just gonna dry it. Get off a little. And this is for those of you who have asked me, <clears throat> gosh, I'm sorry y'all. This is just a puppy pad. Um, like for training your housebreaking your your dogs. Um, it soaks up the alcohol great. You do have to be a little bit careful as you use it. It does get a little, um, oh goodness, what's the word I'm thinking of? A fuzzy, I guess. It gets a lot of little strands and fuzz uh, once it's been used a whole lot. So you just kind of have to, um, you know, keep an eye with that. Okay. So, um, I'm not putting any brass up here. I thought about it, but I decided not to because I don't want that sort of dirty look that the brass can leave in the really pastel colors. So, uh, I just decided not to use it at all right here. this I almost made this too pastel but we'll see I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep working it and see how it does Probably should have left that little bit of extra ink on it that I knocked off, but that's okay. And you can see where it's stained. So I'm really trying to um, keep all the ink that I can out here away from the stain, or not away from it, but off of the stain part, because I don't want it to, uh, to be so obvious that there's this line here. I actually, y'all, I'm sorry, this is the problem with coming back to something. I forgot that I had done this on Yupo, and so I was not thinking at all about the staining when I put that ink down, otherwise I would have done just a little differently. I hope you all can actually even see the color on this because it is so light. It's just so pastel. But I think I may have to go over it a little bit more with a little more ink because that is really just too, too light. <clears throat> Uh, this is the aqua again. I'm just going to put another drop down, I think. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm going to get a sip of drink here. Um, all right, so I'm just going to do the same thing I did before and sort of put a drop down in this corner. Because the further I go, 
you know, the, the less I can even see. And if this doesn't work, I may have to go back to the pool, but I, the pool color, not the swimming pool, which would be nice though. Uh, because, you know, I do want it seen. I just don't want it glaringly obvious and big. So, I'm going to do it this way. So that was, I'm trying to blow a little bit of that color on down through here, just to give me a little more to work with as I go. I'm probably going to end up with a stain right there. A little finger sticking up. It can be an icicle. Kind of struggling with getting that exactly where I want it to go right now. A little more alcohol on. If you heard my dryer switch there for just a second, I just switched it over to uh, heat for just a minute because I, I was having trouble getting that spot to dry because I had so much alcohol on it.
<coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Having trouble keeping hold of my paper for some reason. I keep, like, moving it farther and farther away from me. I am going to leave it like this. Uh, I'm happier with this. Uh, it is, I, I actually could do, come down in here a little bit more, but I'm not going to. I don't want to spend another hour fiddling with it when I am happy with it like this. And I feel like it has a little more of a, a finished look. Um, the Now, if, if I decide to matte this one, I'll have to be real careful because this is so, so narrow where the color is up in here. And this is something to keep in mind. When you're placing your mat over your painting, you know, you're going to end up probably losing a little off this end so that you can keep it all that you can of this showing in the painting. All right. Well, that is that. Um, you can kind of see where I added that in and there's the whole thing all together. I really love this one. I love the these deep blues and greens in this. I think that it is beautiful. Uh, real quickly, the hair dryer that I use. Yes, I am so, so aware that it is out of stock and may not ever be back in stock on Amazon. I am, I have been bombarded with comments and messages and emails telling me that it's out of stock and what can you use. Uh, I have ordered one. I actually just ordered it today. What is today? April 5th. Today is April 5th of 2021. I just ordered it today. It should be here in about a week. It is uh, a little, I wanted to order it before I told you all about it though, because I want to try this one out. It is not a Revlon brand. It is not exactly the same as this one, but it does have a cool setting and the brush attachments are removable. So I'm going to hopefully get that in about a week. And once I get it and give it a try, I will certainly let you all know because I know that's just a huge, huge issue for some of you all who are starting out and don't have uh, one of the dryers like mine yet. So, I am doing my best. I have spent beyond hours. You would not believe how much time I've spent researching things, trying to find something that I think will work. Because there is nothing out there that is exactly like this one. So, uh, I, this is the closest I've found, the one that I have ordered. And I will be letting you all know how it works once I get it. All right. Well, that is that. And I will be back soon with something else fun for you all to try. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.